So when I cross the 18 mile marker, literally the street that we live on, I pass it. I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna hang a left hand turn right here. I am going home. <laughs> I'm gonna text Terry, hey, forget the finish line. Come meet me at the house. You can meet my kids here. But when I looked down on my left arm and I saw their initials, I said, you know what? Everything we do is an example. Our ability to fight through that pain, it's an example for you that you can maybe achieve things that you never thought were possible for you. But also it's an example for them because they're watching. Welcome back to another episode of The Burn. Now, you know we've had a lot of really fun, cool episodes, but this is a special one because I got my little people with me. This is Jay Isaac, goes by Isaac, and this is Kennedy Rose. So you talk about The Burn, what fires you up, and this right here gets me going every single day. You know, one of the things that many people hear me say is be where your feet are. And when I think of that, be where your feet are, so oftentimes it's with these two. It's how can I be the best dad that I can be when I get home? How can I be the best husband that I can be? How can I be focused and centered after travels and you're tired or a hard day's work? So I know I'm not perfect, daddy's not perfect, <laughs> but I always, I always try my best. And I'll tell you one thing these two do is they help me fight through pain when I feel like I can't go any further. And so I have my mom, I have my family, all these things. And so I want to share a story to really inspire you to go challenge yourself to do something that you're going to be able to do that maybe right now you think you can't do, but you will be able to do it because of the connection to your burn. So I, every single year, I do different physical challenges. And a handful of years ago, I decided that I was going to run a full marathon. Now, I had great inspiration from a future episode of The Burn with a dear friend of mine named Terry Grieg. And many of you have heard the story of how she helped me prepare for the marathon, get through it, how I finished the marathon with her. But what many people may not remember the detail of part of the story was what happened when I got to the 18 mile marker of this race. And before I get there, I wanna set the stage for this challenge for you. What is something in your life you said, I could never do that? And I want you to think about it. I wanna challenge you to take an action step towards actually making it happen. So I was one of those individuals, I was a basketball player. So when I grew up, like basketball was the deal. Running, you know, you'd see people run a marathon, these ultra marathons, I'm like, that isn't for me. I don't know how people even do that. And so running a marathon, I used to literally say, I could never do it, I can't do that. Now if you ask these two, if there's one bad word, right? I'd say the worst word you could say in this house is the word can't, we don't say the word can't. And so that's one thing that it wasn't net, right? So I can't run a marathon, I can't do that. And then finally I hear my friend Terry Greek speak and I say, here's a woman, she's a cancer surviving Ironman triathlete, she's an inspiration, if she can fight, and go do an Ironman triathlon with cancer all through her body, I can go run this marathon. So I sign up for the race. She helped me realize the daily disciplines that would give me the ability to finish the race. So that's the first lesson here. Number one, set the challenge. Number two, connect to your burn every single day, that driver that's gonna cause you to light that fire on the days that you don't wanna do the training and just do it one day at a time. You know, you don't train for a marathon all in one day. You do it through a course of maybe eight weeks or 10 weeks or 12 weeks. So just follow through with your plan. And then when your race day comes, set up your environment to push through the pain when you feel like you have nothing left. And if you would have seen my left arm the day of that race, you would have seen that my mother's initials were in black Sharpie. Underneath my mo mother's initials were my wife's initials. Underneath my Amy's initials were Isaac's initials. And underneath Isaac's initials were Kennedy Rose's initials. And when I got to that 18 mile marker that actually crossed the street that I live on in St. Louis. And let me tell you a little side part of this story. So Terry, 
had actually texted me before the race. And she's like, oh, you're gonna finish way faster than you think, and like this final motivation that I needed, right? And she's like, I'll be waiting for you at the finish line. I've never met your family. I wanna meet your family. So she's waiting for me at the finish line. So when I cross the 18 mile marker, Literally, the street that we live on, I pass it. I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna hang a left-hand turn right here, I am going home. <laughs> I'm gonna text Terry, hey, forget the finish line, come meet me at the house, you can meet my kids here. But when I looked down on my left arm and I saw their initials, I said, you know what? Everything we do is an example. Our ability to fight through that pain, it's an example for you that you can maybe achieve things that you never thought were possible for you but also it's an example for them because they're watching. The good stuff, the bad stuff, they see it all, don't you? You see it? <laughs> yeah. They see it all. And so that's part of this challenge for you. I want you to challenge yourself to do something that you thought you couldn't do, to figure out the daily disciplines that are gonna give you the ability to get there. Stay connected to that burn, but make sure you set up your environment to fight through the pain when you feel like you have nothing left. And at that 18 mile marker, if I wasn't thinking about my children, I'm telling you right now, I don't know if I could have finished. If I didn't think about my mom making it down that hallway to come ask my brother and I how our day was at school when we had 24 hour nursing care in the house, I don't know if I would have finished that race. I was thinking about Terry Greek, cancer surviving Ironman triathlete waiting at the finish line. I don't know if I would have finished that race. And I'll tell you what, Terry Greig came back to find me that day. And at the end of the race, Terry looks up at me and she says, buddy, where does it hurt? Now, keep in mind, before I answered her, it hurts everywhere. Terry that day actually ran the half marathon. Still cancer all through her body. And when she realized that I wasn't finishing as fast as she told me I would, she ran to come and find me through thousands of people who were finishing the race. She came, she found me, we turned around, there was about a half a mile left. I had no idea how my body was gonna take me there. And I looked back down at my arm. I thought of these two waiting at the finish line. I thought about the fact that Terry had come to get me. You can fight through your pain. Terry looks at me and she said, I know it hurts everywhere, but we're gonna do this, put one foot in front of the other. So I encourage all of you, if you're willing to accept this challenge, stay connected to the burn. Stay connected to those daily activities, but just keep putting one foot in front of the other. With about 45 seconds left in the race, Terry Grieg looked up at me and she says, one more time, buddy. She says, go finish your race. Her selfless act to do that. Terry is a, one of the most inspirational people I've ever met. She's been on the Ellen Show, the Today Show. She was the NBC Sports inspirational participant of Kona Hawaii Ironman Triathlon. She's a celebrity at these events. Would have been the perfect front page of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Terry Greek helps this poor guy make it across the finish line. But instead, her selfless act gave my wife Amy the opportunity to send these two kids to me to cross that finish line to do something that at one point in time I said I can't do. And I'm here to tell you that you can do it. There's little people like this who are maybe watching you and they give me inspiration. They help intensify that burn. Go do something that maybe you didn't think you could do. Stay connected to your burn and don't ever forget that everything you need is already in you. <laughs>